All right, that's not quite the answer yet because my x value is what? Negative, negative. what? Would negative 7x plus 10, y be the same as 10y minus 7x? Yes, yes it would. But what am I trying to do? Put x and then y. It's in that order. X y. It's always got to be written x y, not y x. All right. Now, what's our problem here? Uh, a is negative. This right here is a negative. So to get rid of a negative, you change all the signs. Now, what do I mean by changing all the signs? All I'm doing is technically. I'm just multiplying everything through by negative one. Now you can do that if you want, or you can just listen to them and say, change all the signs. If I change all the signs, that just becomes seven X minus 10 Y equals negative eight. Now that is written in what? Standard form. That is written in standard form. All right, so join me on number three now. What? How are you get rid of one? I'm just showing you I can't have x negative. So if the value of the x is negative, you just multiply by negative one, and that changes it from a negative to a positive. And also, but a, b, or c can be negative. I'm sorry you thought that. What am I supposed to do? What did I say, William? That A is positive. Did I say anything about B or C? No. No, I did not. All right. So now this is good practice. So number three is almost the same as number one. So I'm going to multiply everything through by what, please? Ten. Everybody's going to multiply everything through by 10. Now, once again, if you're having trouble multiplying by 10, put a 10 in the corner. All right. And when you put a 10 in the corner, it kind of helps you multiply by 10. What? Is it always by 10? No, no, stop saying always. You're not allowed to say always in here because most of the time, guess what? It's not, it's not always. People are trying to remember and memorize. I'm trying to teach you how to get rid of fractions. To get rid of fractions, you multiply by a common denominator. You with me? Two and or five and ten is a common denominator of ten. So you're multiplying through by ten. All right. So the first one now becomes ten y equals. Now again, ten divided by five. Two, two times negative two. Negative four. So negative four x plus three. Reagan, how's that? Now, I need the x with the y. So I add 4x. Do you have to put plus 4x and plus 4x? No, because we're smart. We know when you move something, you just do what to the sign? Change it. So it's negative 4x on the right. It's going to be 4x on the left. So it's 4x plus 10y equals 3. That's it. That's called standard form. Max, is that good? Uh, did you explain how you got the, the 4x and the 3? What is 10 divided by 5 yeah. times 2? 10 divided by 10. Wait, what's that? 10 divided by 10 times 3. That's how I got those numbers. You with me on that? Come on now, you got to do the next one. All right, you got to do the next one. I'm trying to tell you guys who want to do better. This is how you learn to do better. You start with a new topic and you ask questions when you don't know something. What? So I understand in this situation why you pick the 10, because that's higher to say if the number is like No, we're not saying anything. We're doing on number five. And then I'm going to show you how to do seven and then nine. All of the bases are covered. I promise you, all of the bases are covered. All right, you just say, I can do these two. You with me? Right? I promise you. All right, I got you covered. All right.
and let's look now at number five. Rivers, what should I multiply by? Seven. Yes. No, negative seven. Well, I don't even mind you saying seven. Yeah. All right, I don't care about the negative. Okay. And then, uh, All right, now if I multiply by seven again, just for some of you guys who are struggling, do you have to put the seven here, here, and here? No. No, it's for your eyes so you can learn what am I doing. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what you're learning. All right? So seven times y is just what? Seven y. Seven y. Now, max, this right here, seven divided by seven, then times negative three. Yes, there you have it. You with me now, right? Good. And then minus four. Now you're supposed to speak up. What? Stop telling me what it is. I want to know your question. Stop correcting me. What? William, what's seven divided by seven? One. Times negative three. That's negative three. What are you asking me? Isn't it negative seven divided by negative seven? Oh, that's a good memory. William. I figured it out. I know that you're thinking out loud, right? You understand me? Come on, you're doing much better now. Now you gotta learn to think inside your own brain, right? Seven divided by seven, stay with me. I did not say negative seven divided by seven, did I? Seven divided by seven. Why is it seven? Because that's what we multiplied by, that's that number. All right, now you're gonna practice with the next one. Now all I have to do is move the what? Move the three X. So now I have three X plus seven Y equals negative four. Now guys, I'm getting further down the page. You should be getting pretty good at it. All right, here we go. Number seven. What am I going to multiply by? Six. six. That's it. Multiplying by six. Now I'm not going to put the sixes there. What? How if you just do x over one times x? How do you know what fraction you want by six times? Just another x. I'm not sure what you're asking me. Like on the other problems, we had. Before just, like, but just answer the question. What is six times one? Six or six one? No, I, you see what I'm saying? What's six times negative x? Negative six x. What's six times one six? Six or one? I don't know what you're asking me. You see what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Right. That's what I'm saying. Those of you guys who are struggling with fractions, this is a nightmare. If you're not, if you don't know what I mean, just put a six here, a six here, and a six here. It's much easier. But eventually, I want you to say, "Come on, man, that's I got that." This multiplying each term by six—that's all you're doing. I know I sound like somebody else. All right, here we go. All right, now what? Add six x. Final answer: six x plus six y equals. One. No. Number nine. What? No. Number nine. Again, everyone. All right, put the brackets. We're going to multiply by what? Five. Now, multiply everything through by five and then see if you go, yeah, I got it. All right, I'm going to write the answer up here, and you can tell whether or not you know what you're doing. If I write the problem and you don't have the same answer, that means you don't know what you're doing, and you should ask me a question. Any issues? Anybody have an issue? Yes. Okay. What do you feel like? Okay, so if you multiply by, or 
multiplying everything by five? Yes, I'm multiplying everything by five. So what's the problem? So wouldn't it be 10x? Ten, 10x divided by five, what's that? Um, right? Yeah. You're always dividing by the denominator. That's what a fraction bar means. What does a fraction bar mean? Five. Divide. So two times five divided by five, that's why I'm getting two. You with me now, Mr. Bailey? Yeah. All right. Now, throw the two X over. Now we got a problem we throw the two X over, it is? Negative two X plus five Y equals negative two. Now, what do I do to all the signs? Change all signs. Multiply by negative one. Change all signs. Final answer, 2x minus 5y equals 2. That is the answer. All right, here we go. New one. This right here. All right, now, now again, guys, this, this is just annoying. I'm not arguing with you. All right, this is primarily designed to help some of you guys who didn't do well on the last test. All right, same exact problem. We have to write the equation of a line. All right, so we need to find the slope. In order to write an equation, you need a slope and a point. All right, so the first thing we're doing is we're writing the formula M equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Please follow me. All right? You can make 100 on the next test. All right, now we're going to calculate the slope. So I have 4 minus 1 over 5 plus 3. 4 minus 1, 3, three. over 8. 3 over 8. Anybody have an issue with that? All right. Now, we don't go directly into standard form. I have a what here? Point and a slope. So now we're going to review point slope form. So I want everybody off to the side here. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. That is referred to as point slope form. That is referred to as point slope form. Now, I highlighted the green, so we're gonna, everybody's going to choose the same one. We're going to choose 5, 4. But really, does it matter? No. No, it wouldn't matter. All right? So now we're going to write it in point slope form, which would be good on most tests. All right? So right now, I have the slope. I'm picking this point. So it's y minus, what's the y value? 4. 4. four equals, what's the slope? Three eighths. Three eighths. What's the x value? One. There you have it. All right. Now, what I want everybody to write next to it, just to make sure you understand, that is written in point slope form, and that would have gotten you the full credit on the test, last test. All right. Now, we're working in standard form. So now, please put your eyes up here. All right, don't look down at your iPad. For whatever reason, this transition is hard. All right, I don't understand why. And most of the time, the reason people don't know why is because they're not good with what? Fractions. fractions. They're just not good with fractions. If you're good with this fraction, this is an easy transition. All right, are we allowed to have fractions? No. No, we're not. All right, so I have to get rid of the divided by 8. So how do I get rid of the divided by 8? All right. Multi no, we're not multiplying by the reciprocal. And that's what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm trying to get rid of divided by 8. So I have to do what? 
and multiply by eight. Now, I'm gonna put a different color up here so I can stress it. All right, I'm gonna multiply by eight. I'm gonna multiply this side by eight. And then I'm gonna multiply this side by what? Eight. All right, now please look up, because here's where kids, I, I don't know why this is hard. All right, so I'm multiplying the left side by eight. If I multiply the left side by eight, that becomes what? Eight y minus thirty-two. Eight y minus thirty-two, right? Because you're multiplying the entire thing by eight. In other words, you're distributing the eight. All right, so now that wasn't the hard part. I'm going to distribute, so it's going to be eight y minus thirty-two. Anybody have any questions with that? No, All right, now put equals. All right, now the hard part. And I, like I said, for me, I, I don't understand. This 8 and this 8 do what? They cancel out. You're multiplying by 8 and divide by 8, so you're canceling out. Everybody agree? So now all I'm doing is I'm distributing a 3 through here. Distributing a 3 through here. And when I distribute that 3, it becomes 3x minus 15. All right, now stop talking. Stop trying to do something. I'm not kidding you. This is where everybody has a problem. And, and like I said, most people have problems because they don't understand fractions. I multiply the left side by 8. What happened to the right side? The 8's cancel. So now you're just visualizing there's just a 3 there. So what do I do? Distribute the three. Is everybody with me? All right, that's it. That's it. And we're going to do it more times. All right, I'm really, in, I'm really trying to help you with your math now, understanding numbers. All right, this is the critical part. It's just a process. You have to understand the numbers. All right, you can't be good at advanced math if you can't do these basic things right here. All right, that's what I'm saying. Ask questions. What? I'm not doing standard form yet. Anybody have any questions up to this part right now? Anybody have any questions up to this point? All right. And if you're good, I'm telling you, you're pretty good at, at equations of lines if you're here. All right. Mm -hmm. What? I don't want to hear anything about standard form. I'm trying to make the class here, and everyone now has the ability to say, I'm not sure where you got that. And I want you to tell me if you're not sure, you're good. All right. Now, standard form requires the X and Y together and the numbers on the other side. So now concentrate with me. I'm going to pick up the 3x, and I'm going to move it to the left. When I move the 3x to the left, it becomes what? Negative 3x. So here we go. Negative 3x plus 8y. Is the negative 32 in the right spot? No, it's not in the right spot, so I've got to throw it to the other side. And if I have a minus 32 on the left, I'm going to have a what? Positive 32 on the right. Come on now, you with me? So now you have to tell me what's negative 15 plus 32. What's negative 15 plus 32? Negative 17. I th 17. I think it's 17. 17. All right, I think it's 17. All right, and that is the answer. That is the answer. Negative 3x plus y equals 17. Can't be a negative. Can it? Right. So, you so now the final step after all that, all right, is do what to the signs? Change. Just change the signs because X can't be negative for some strange reason. I don't know why. All right. I even tried to look it up. There's no explanation. It's just that's what they agreed to. So now you're just going to write it as 3X minus 8Y equals negative 17. Now, please listen. Don't feel overwhelmed by this right here. Just practice it. 
or I'm not looking for perfection on this. I understand it's a challenge, all right? You got to practice though. And that's what the main problem is for some of you. You're not practicing enough, all right? So here we go. Number 13, I need to calculate the what? The slope. slope. Come on now. M equals. Uh, y1 minus y2. Yes. Um, one. Come on. One plus two over. over. Negative six minus two. Thank you. Which is? Three over negative eight. Negative three eighths. Negative three eighths. Okay, now ask yourself, did I just write his answer down or did I do it my own self? That's what you're trying to figure out. If you don't know how to do the slope, I still don't even mind helping you do that. Anybody need help calculating a slope? Anybody need help calculating a slope? All right, now I have a slope and a point. So I need point, slope, slope form. Point, slope, form. All right. Now, again, I'm just going to pick the first letter, this or the first number this time. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to pick the first one. So here we go. Come on, concentrate. Point, slope, form. Y. What's the Y value? Negative two. So it's going to be Y plus two equals William. The slope, which is negative three eighths, parentheses, x minus two. Now again, this is where I'm trying to say, try to be a little step ahead of me, right? Where you can say, okay, I missed it this time, but I'm gonna get it the next time. Because the next problem is exactly the same as this problem. All right, anybody have any problems with writing that? And that was on our last test, so those of you guys who missed that, now you understand a little bit better, I hope. All right, so now I'm going to multiply everything through by what? By eight. I'm gonna multiply through by eight. Now notice I didn't keep the negative in the denominator because we just never really write negative in the denominator. If you have negative in the denominator, I don't care. If you multiply through by negative eight, I don't care. It's just going to be a little bit different than mine. What? So it doesn't matter if you write your other side of the negative position. No, it doesn't. It makes no difference. You okay. should get the same exact answer. All right? Now, if I multiply everything through by 8, let's see. The left side becomes 8y plus 16. The 8 and the 8 cancel on this side, so I'm really distributing a what? I'm distributing a negative three. Negative three X plus six. Anybody have any issues with that? Anybody have any issues? Now I need the X and Y on the same side. So if I have negative three X on the right, it's going to be positive on the left. So now I have three X plus eight Y. Is the 16 in the right spot? No, I have to move a positive 16 over and that becomes negative 10. Six minus 16 is negative 10. And there you have it, all right? Again, I'm saying a little bit hard. I'm not arguing with you on that. A little bit hard, and I'm not even going to put this as a major part of the test. It's going to be minor part of the test. All right, but still, I feel obligated because I know some of you are going to be taking a test, and you got to be able to do it. All right, what? Our test is Friday, right? Yes, sir, Friday. All right, here we go. On 15. Here we go. I need a slope. M equals oh, zero, plus two. zero plus two over seven, over seven, seven minus, minus zero equals two over seven. Now, I want someone who's been thinking 
to recognize what is this? The y-intercept, thank you. It is the y-intercept. So this problem can be done much easier if they give you the y-intercept. We can just write it in what? Slope-intercept slope form. All right, so we're going to practice that. All right, we recognize that this is the y-intercept. So now we can write it in the form y equals mx plus b. All right, so what is the slope again? 2 sevenths seven. two x. What's b? Negative 2. Negative 2. So that would have been another problem on the last test that some of you struggled with. All right, now we're moving into standard form. So here we go. If we're going to move to standard form, I need to get rid of the what? Seven. The seven. So I'm just going to do what? Multiply everything through by seven. Multiply everything through by seven. Ava. Leave them alone. Poor Ava. She's bothering me. Know. Great. You let me know, okay? If, I will. If, if we have to take care of this. All right. It's annoying. Here we go. Time seven. I feel sorry for you, okay? It's so All right. Here we go. Multiply everything through by seven. All right. So we get, come on, 7y equals 2x minus 14. Everybody okay with that so far? What? Is that a problem? I'm asking, is it a problem? You acted like there was a problem. You sure? Yeah, I did um, 7 divided by 7 times 2 and then distributed to 0. Okay, so here we go. There's no distribution right now, correct? Yeah, because it's the same thing. All right. Okay, now x and y are on the same side. So now I move the x over with the y. It becomes negative 2x, negative 2x plus 7y equals negative 14. And then no negative for x. So change 2x minus 7y equals 14. Yep, a little bit. All right. Again, now we're going to get better on 17. All right, try to get a little better. All right, let's, everyone right now, on your own, calculate the slope. Let's see if you got the first step right. Okay, there's the slope. Slope is one third. Anybody have a problem with the slope being one third? Anybody have a problem with the slope being one third? All right. Now I'm going to select again the first point because I see a what? I see a zero. All right, so I think that's easier. All right, so now we have a point and a slope just to make sure everybody's correct. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. So y minus, I'm just going to put it, 0 equals 1 third times x minus 1. Now, do I really need the y minus 0? No. no, so I'm just going to erase it now. y equals 1 third x minus 1. So now what I'm going to multiply both sides by? 3. 3. So I end up with 3y equals, what happens to the threes? So that means I'm really just distributing a 1. So 3y equals x minus 1. What? I multiplied the denominator by 3. That canceled out. The 1 third and the 3 cancel. Is that what you're asking? Um, oh, wait. Then move the x. 
When I move the x, it becomes what? Oh, negative x plus 3y. 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 Negative x
And I hope you got something out of today. All right, just repetition, repetition, repetition. All right, now here, I, I even wrote the answers. All right, now, listen, the only assignment, all you have to do is try to finish 23, 25, 27, and 29. Now listen to me. I'm, I'm talking to some of you guys who want to do better. Those you guys who are making A's and B's, I don't care. Are right, those you guys who want to do better, right? The objective for you is to review 1 through 21. Do 1 through 21. Look at them again. Can you repeat the information? That's how you get smart. If you can repeat the information, then you're good. If you can't repeat the information, then you're no good. All right? So tomorrow, I'm not going over 23 through 29. I'm going to start with what? Even. The evens. And I'm going down the page. Even. All right? We're going to do the evens. All right? Anybody have any questions? All right? Please. Come on, guys. It's not that hard. you got to practice. You want more money? Yeah. All right, Xavier. I know. Yeah, it's I feel crazy. I feel bad for you back there. She has to be throwing them back at me for me to throw them back. That's crazy. I wouldn't have them if she wouldn't have thrown it at me. See, she's just trying to.